Margaret Parks describes the past 37 years as a roller coaster of hope and despair. Speaking to GBC, she says it seems like a lifetime, but the sadness just never ends. The couple say they're not getting any younger, and although they're extremely grateful for the continued searches for Simon, they feel it's time an inquest is held. Their son is still registered as missing, but David and Margaret Parks firmly believe he died in Gibraltar on the 12th of December 1986. They had requested an inquest in 2006, but this was refused by the then coroner Charles Piton. The couple say they still do not have a death certificate for Simon and consequently have never been able to have a funeral for him. Mrs Parks acknowledges that an inquest won't bring back their beloved son. Nothing will, she says, but it will bring them closer to understanding what happened to him on the night he disappeared and perhaps give them some closure after all these years. She says it won't take away their pain, but it's something they must do before it's too late. Daniel Feetham KC is acting pro bono for the couple. He told GBC he has always been deeply moved by Simon's tragic story. He believes an inquest ought to have been held when it was originally requested in 2006 and that it was wrong to deny the family one. However, he says the case for holding an inquest has now been further strengthened by a change in the law and with new evidence that has come to light. Mr Feetham confirmed that on instructions of Mr and Mrs Parks, he has submitted a formal request to the coroner and is awaiting a reply. Meanwhile, Alan Grimson, the convicted killer and person of interest in the disappearance of Simon, was expected to have a parole hearing this month. However, GBC understands this has been postponed again due to the ongoing investigation and searches in Gibraltar. Reacting to the news, Margaret Park says she's very relieved, given that the investigation into Simon's disappearance is ongoing and as long as Alan Grimson remains a suspect, she feels strongly that he should not be released from prison. She told GBC, our sentence will be forever. The RGP has been excavating a small area of the Trafalgar Cemetery over the past two weeks. A spokesperson for Hampshire Police has confirmed that the works are continuing.